What up though, y'all? It's Chris. Appreciate you connecting with me. 10,000 steps, still finishing them up. Let's talk about when your woman is not over an ex. <laughs> Things you should look out for when you know your woman's not over an ex or confirming that your woman's not over an ex. So, if you know more about her ex than you do some of your own homies, she probably not over him, bro. Let me put my head in the way to keep that light from blocking me out. But yeah, if you know more about him than you do your own homies, she not over him, bro. If she still follows him on social media, she is not over him, bro. If she does different things with you and compares it to things that she did with him, you guessed it, she not over him, bro. You know, if she takes you to places that remind her of him, she is not over him. All right, if she is talking about him a lot, you know, he used to do this, he used to do that. Dude, she is not over him. And if she's doing things like this, I honestly don't know why you even still dealing with her, but that's a whole different thing. Um, Let me go out this way here so I can stay in the light because it's getting kind of dark. It's time for that Lions game, okay? Lions versus the Rams. It's time for that to happen. You know who I'm rooting for. You know, you know who I'm rooting for. Uh. Let's continue. Uh, you know, what's some other good signs? Um, yeah, take taking you places that remind you or remind her of him. Always talking about him. Something that you do always seems to trigger a memory of something that he did with her or he did to her. The, these are just red flags, dude. She's been she's been alpha widowed usually. You know, if if she has this much of a um you know torch essentially that she's carrying for him, this large of a torch, she was likely alpha widowed. You know, this was some guy who she was with before you. He might not have been the very last guy she was with. He might have been um, a guy she was with several other guys before and she's still pining for him uh, for one reason or another he might have been the best guy who she ever had and uh, she monkeyed that relationship up and he's moved on to a woman that is more cooperative more agreeable and uh, she's having regrets about the fact that she dropped the ball with him she's been with different guys since him she does not deem them to be equal to him certainly not better than him and now it comes to you and it's the same thing she does not see you as being uh better than him or even equal to him which is why you're having to hear about him all the time and even if you decide hey i'm gonna try to be more like this other guy which i don't think you should do but let's say hypothetically you do decide to do something like that i'm gonna try to be more like this guy do some of these things that I know she likes, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You're never gonna be him. You can try to do different things for her that he did for her as much as you want. All they're gonna do is just make her want him more. They're not gonna make her see you as more attractive um, in comparison to him. They're just gonna make her want him even more. So I do not, I do not recommend that you deal with a woman that still is hung up on an ex um, it, this can be even worse if the ex may have passed away for one reason or another. The ex could have been sick and died from something. This is going to make her her love for him, her enamorment for him, is going to be even more powerful. And now you're having to compete 
with the memory of this guy, which there's just no way you can do. You have no way of winning this. You cannot compete with the memory of a dead guy because she's going to come up with this perfect fantasy version of him in her mind that didn't exist. Now, I'm not saying the guy wasn't a great guy. He could have been a great guy, but she's going to come up with an even better version of him in her mind this fantasy version of him that is nearly flawless even though he was a flawed person in real life because we all make mistakes we all have flawed the memory of him is going to be flawless and you're not going to be able to compete with that um if she's on social media and this is if you know uh the guy has passed away if she's on social media um still posting about his birthday still posting about um you know the day he died those sorts of things she's not over him she's still hung up on him uh just a few more um if she you know tells you well you're less than a man as him or if you were half the man of this guy or whatever which i find to be greatly disrespectful that you shouldn't need me to tell you she's still hung up over you i mean she's pretty much telling you you know that she's not over this guy she's not going to be over this guy let's go ahead and have a seat right here she's not over this guy she's not going to be over this guy and you're pretty much never gonna live up to him if she's telling you a grown man that you need to be more like another man or this man did this better than you or you wish you could be like them Bro, not only is she not over that ex, she is being mad disrespectful to you. She's not only not over that ex, but she doesn't think much of you due to the fact that she's trying to uh, uh, put you down in, in comparison. Almost punish you for not being him, which that ain't right. You got to be you. You can't be some ex who she couldn't manage to retain. You got to be you, dude. So... I don't recommend that you put yourself in this situation. I don't recommend that you, if you are in this situation, you stay in it. You have to get out of it because it's it's never going to end well. Um, I have witnessed this take place uh, by a few different people in my life. Like I, I know, I actively know a couple people right now that have this situation going on and they got to know that this is their reality but they're not really doing much about it so i i don't know i don't know how you could be happy in a relationship with somebody that um they're constantly being uh, reminded of somebody else like there is nothing that doesn't remind them of this other person they are still pining for them and here's here's an aspect you may not have considered that unfortunately i'm gonna have to bring up front and center of why if there's a woman who is still hung up on her ex you need to leave her alone don't think for a second that when y'all have sex that she's not comparing you to him don't think for a second because if she is comparing you to him in all these other aspects why would you ever think that she's not comparing you to him in this one. Of course she is. And it don't matter how great you think you are, in her mind, you're never going to live up to him in that aspect either. You could do whatever. You could turn into the nastiest dude, the freakiest dude, willing to fulfill every fantasy she could possibly think of. Because she loves that guy so much and is still so hung up on him, no matter what you do, it's not going to live up uh, to him. And here's another disturbing aspect that I'm going to have to share with you. Then I'm going to let y'all go because I don't want to hurt your feelings with this too much. Because if this is your reality, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm just trying to wake you up to it. But the other reality is, is that there have likely been some times where y'all was getting down and she imagined she was with him instead of you. I'm going to leave it there. I'm leave it for you to just think on there. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit me with them thumbs ups. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.